John Wycliffe was an amazing man. He's called the Morning Star of the Reformation because he appeared by himself as a forerunner to the reformers who would come later. 150 years before Martin Luther, John Wycliffe was on the scene of history swinging the sword of the gospel and attacking popes with truth. God called this man sort of a Melchizedek of church history without father or mother or genealogy. He leaned upon God alone. He looked up and saw that his entire age and all of Christendom itself stood against him. But the Bible and God was with him. He ran on two main tracks in his life. First, as a patriot, he fought for the rights of the English crown. At this time, Rome was not just a spiritual force, but it was a temporal power that ruled kings of the earth. And it was stripping the wealth of the English people. So John Wycliffe was called by God to become the champion of the Magna Carta, and he overthrew the Pope's grip on the people of England and upon the crown of England. But not content, he was a man of God, so he switched the sword of truth and began to attack the spiritual nature of the papacy itself. He defied the Pope and called him Antichrist. And he attacked the transubstantiation, the so-called real presence of the Lord's Supper. He saw clearer into the Lord's Supper than Huss or Luther after him. He displayed an amazing independence of thought that God had given him as he ran his course. But not content to preach the truth himself, for he would one day die, not content to send out street preachers throughout England, he forged verse by verse an English Bible to leave behind in the hands of the people. He worked wonders in the antique Saxon. In Mark chapter 1, he has John the Baptist saying this, A stall worthier than I cometh after me, the strings of whose chaucers I am not worthy to unloose. And it was John Wycliffe who translated this famous verse, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. He translated that over 600 years ago. And here it stands in our modern English Bibles and can't be improved upon. In the end, John Wycliffe was just a man like us, a sinner and a wretch who deserved God's wrath. But because of Christ and his blood, God called John Wycliffe to become his servant, to become a warrior for truth in his own day, though he did not deserve that. The remarkable life and works of John Wycliffe were nothing but the works of Christ within him. To learn more, go to wrathandgrace.com and pick up the John Wycliffe biography. I'm Luke Walker, and this is a Wrath and Grace biography. He slips back into consciousness. You can hear him scream from the balcony with consciousness. His second to last class.